Now, there's a whole lot of things happening between Taylor Braxton and Christian Rock, and honestly, it's getting very scary. I'm sure most of you have had a visual or uh, a picture skew about what did happen at Tamer Bradson's concert, which did see, uh, you know, Chris Sean also being present over there and she was virtually all over the place doing nothing. Like, I don't know who even invited her on stage. Girl was just being like a bush girl on the concert and eventually of course she acted as a bush girl over there well uh tema has officially also come out to address the issues and of course it's getting very personal over here but some fans after also uh seeing what has gone viral on uh, you know social media especially with regard to the concert uh, tema bradson's concert also have various opinions about it but without wasting much time let's do engage what uh tema bradson has been talking about in uh, her latest live video that she has conducted James and his trauma and what happened um, to him. And when I say what happened to him, he got assaulted um, at my show. Um, and, and it was by Krishan, but um, there was a lot of events that I believe were misconstrued. And so while I'm not going to set out the time and clear every little thing up for everyone, I, I want you to know um, the reason why I decided to say something. Um, number one, I care about my team. They're all of my friends and we put this all together for the fans. Um, I'm not a clout chaser. I don't. I don't need that. Like my circle is this small, you know. I um, don't have to sell tickets for, you know. Like oh, I need to sell tickets. Let me do this. That other. This show has been sold out for a month. Um, I didn't have an opening act. I knew. I didn't need an opening act because I knew my sister was coming in the middle of the show, um, and you know when you're in different cities, you invite different people. Um, and Krishan was definitely someone that I invited, someone that I, I actually, you know, looked at from afar as like a, a younger sister. She's from Baltimore. Um, I knew that she was rowdy. You know, I, I didn't judge her because of that. You know, I felt for her on, on so many occasions. And I just felt like, oh, this was somebody I wanted to meet to, you know, possibly take under my wing because, you know, everybody knows that I don't have the best. I don't have the best pass. I'm sorry, I have a filter. I washed my face. I look crazy. Okay. Um. I'm sorry, I have a filter. I washed my face. I look crazy. Okay. Um, you know, and in my journey of being a better person, I wanted people to, you know, accept me for the new person that I was and the only way that they could do that is if I was given an opportunity and so that's really all it was um I didn't call her and be like oh come on and perform at my show um I already knew Tony was planning to perform here at this LA show um she had sent me her number a while ago on a DM and I reached out to her. I mean, like I said before, like we all have, you know, Christian is like a little sister to all of us watching her and then watch her make mistakes. We want to help. We want to help. And this is what this Love and War tour has been about. You know, I have called several girls that I didn't, I didn't know Drew Sedora. I didn't know Tiffany Evans. Um, I, I, didn't, I don't know. Um, I don't I didn't know any of them. Really, the only person that I knew was Nivea, you know, um, but I wanted this tour to be about, you know, second chances and, you know, giving new opportunities. And um, I don't know. Um, I didn't call Krishan to open up for me. Um, but when she was in my dressing room, we do a twerk off portion, right? And I was like, oh, it'd be cool if you, if the DJ played as a vibe and you came out and did a vibe like the people, you know, Baltimore sisters. And that's really what I was thinking. for coming on my show and opening up for me. I try to always do the, do the right thing um, by people. Um, and there's a contract. Um, we're professional. I'm a real touring company. Um, and that wasn't the case. Um, 
I think that there was a misunderstanding. During the part of the twerk off, um, I am backstage changing clothes. Um, and everybody that's come to a Tay Marsha show know that we don't have any violence. No one has ever fought at my concerts. We laugh, we cry. People have passed out, you know, due to, you know, being, you know, inebriated or, you know, just excited at being at a concert. But this is a, a, a safe, loving, healing place. And um, I don't know. I have to apologize to my team if my silence have made you all feel like I have not been supportive to you. Um, and I also want to acknowledge Krishan. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for coming. You know, I, I, I didn't want any of this to happen. I actually thought that we, you know, could really be, you know, good friends and have, you know, I could be a big sister, you know, to you. And that was my only objective of you coming. Um, I had no other plans. I didn't want to set you up. I didn't tell nobody not to play your music. I didn't, I just want everybody to come and have a good time. And that is really the spirit of it all. Um, but I have to acknowledge my team because my team has been traumatized. And especially James. He was assaulted and he was hurt. And I just feel like I can't make nobody happy. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I really wish she would have hit me instead of him. You know, I'm just so sorry it happened to you. Um, <clears throat> and I'm sorry, Krishan, if you felt that, you know, anybody, any of us wanted to use you for height. For height, no, no one. I'm not even going to address that because it's ridiculous. I know that when <coughs> people <coughs> come into this industry and come into this industry and you know they get a certain amount of stardom or fame they feel like oh what does this person want with me what does this person want with me and there are some genuine people um but um i i'm doing this video for for my staff and for my team who believed in me and who has helped supported me Troy especially you know who has been the most passionate about this and he should have, you know, um, he's my partner and, you know, watching, you know, someone so close to us, you know, get so violated is traumatizing. And um, I, I really honestly, truly wish none of this happened. Um, we are still doing part two. Um, like I said before, we no, I, it, it's just unfortunate. And let me just tell you how amazing James is. Like, no matter how he's feeling, he told me today, he was like, you know, when she hit me, I just feel like I just wanted to hug her. She'd be like, I'm just really sorry that it all happened. And, um, I don't know. I just felt like on behalf of my team, being the leader, sometimes you don't know, you know, what role to take. And I just want everybody to know. I just want everybody to know that I'm sorry. And um, I don't know. Um, but I won't be speaking about this anymore. It's, this has really hit us hard, you know, and um, it really hit us all hard. No one deserved it, you know, and no one wanted to hurt anybody, and no one wanted to disrespect anybody, and nobody wanted to set anybody up. I mean, just wanted to have a good time. Um, so um, I love you guys. And I'll see you in a few weeks. I'm sorry, James. You're an amazing person. This should have never happened. Um, 
And I'm also sorry, Krishan, that you feel like in, in your life that everybody is out to get you. That must be a horrible feeling. That's a horrible feeling. Um.